Hi everyone, Brian from Critical Skills, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do multiple scatter plots on a single uh, graph. This is particularly useful for our data viz assignment. So there's other videos and tutorials that talk about graphs and charts and things like that, but this is a very short one just to show you how to do two scatter plots on a single chart. So I have here a data set and it's a number of individuals and I have a couple series. I have uh, how many years they played Dungeons and Dragons. I have how many tattoos they have and then how many Dungeons and Dragons books they own. Now I've already run the correlations on these and unsurprisingly there's a very strong positive correlation between the number of years playing Dungeons and Dragons and the number of tattoos and the number of years playing Dungeons and Dragons and the number of books owned. So we want to put this on a scatter plot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab these two. So I've got years uh, and number of tattoos and I'm going to go insert and let's put in a scatter plot. Okay, pretty simple. There's a very basic scatter plot and you can see definitely a positive correlation as it's rising and very tight uh, across the graph there. Okay, so let's add a second one. So I'm going to go to this chart and I'm going to click uh, select data, right click and then select data. Okay, and then I'm going to click add here. Okay, and we're going to call this series books. Now, on the previous one, the first one we did, the, the x-axis along the bottom here is years. So we've got to make sure that we have the same x-axis. Okay, and so the x-axis will be the years. And then for the y, we'll get rid of this and we'll select number of books. And then we hit OK. And then we hit OK. So now we have two scatter plots on the same uh, same chart. And of course, we'd have to go in and tidy it up. We'd want to add trend lines, right? So we can add trend lines to both here. And we want to label everything and things like that. But the point is that this is a very easy, simple way to put two scatter plots on a single chart. So let's say, for example, you had uh, commuting, hours spent commuting, and you want to use that as your x-axis. You could run two variables like study time or exercise, um, comparing both to commute. So if you have the same x-axis, so our studying versus hours commuting, hours studying versus hours exercising. So if you use the, the same variable on your x-axis, you can use two different ones here and you get two really nice scatter plots potentially uh, on the same uh, chart there. So as I said, look at your other tutorials and videos, but this shows you just very quickly how to do two scatter plots on the same, uh, the same chart. Just to, to add uh, very quickly, th this works because the scale is close. So the maximum number of tattoos we have is six and the maximum D&D books is 12. So it looks okay on the scatter plot here. You, you would not want to do this if these are hugely um, different because then the, the chart would, uh, would, not, would not be a good chart. It would not kind of visually communicate. So you might have, for example, a very, um, your small one might be a very tight correlation, very strong. But if your uh, second one is a huge uh, range on it, it would make the, the first one look very small and, and not that, that great. So this is a great uh, technique, a great strategy for a data visualization. But again, just make sure that the, the series the, that you're working with are relatively close in terms of their values.